Good luck, ladies. Thank you. And three, two, one, live. Welcome to the Legs Matter Lounge. My name is Leanne and I'm the Communications Manager at LNR UK. Today on the last day of the Legs Matter Lounge, I have the Bermina Lounge Legs Matter Coalition member, Sarah Gardner, who is an independent tissue viability consultant and trustee of Tissue Viability Society. Today, LNR are hosting a session on Squeeze In, which aims to provide people with lower limb conditions the motivation, knowledge and guidance to improve their leg health. To be able to live their life to the fullest. Squeeze In is supported by actor and comedian Johnny Vegas and we're now going to play a short film which includes a look into Johnny's story. Hi, my name is Leanne and I'm the Communications Manager at LNR UK. LNR are a wound care and compression company that specialise in providing solutions for lower limb conditions. We are passionate about promoting self-care for patients and healthcare professionals. Today I'm going to talk to you about our new campaign called Squeeze In. What is Squeeze In? Squeeze In aims to provide people with lower limb conditions the motivation, knowledge and guidance to improve their leg health so they're able to live their life to the fullest. The campaign also emphasises the importance of self-care in boosting self-confidence and empowering those living with a lower limb condition to take control of their leg health. And it would do this by highlighting the small changes that we can all squeeze in to significantly improve our lives. So why now? The need for people with lower limb conditions to feel empowered and confident to self-care is critical to support the ongoing challenge of social isolation due to the pandemic. There is also a need to free up vital resource and extra pressure on healthcare professionals due to the ongoing workload COVID-19 presents. We approached Johnny Vegas with the Squeeze In campaign to see if he would support it and he shared his own experience with us of helping his father to manage his venous leg ulcer. Johnny said that later in life poor circulation meant that my dad's mobility suffered but equally for someone so seemingly so carefree so did his self-confidence. Despite surviving an aneurysm and beating cancer and being open in doing so the condition of his legs was never up for discussion. Any query, comment or attempt to lighten the discomfort of this particular challenge was considered by him to be a bit too below the belt. As a staunch ambassador of wearing socks with sandals on holiday, I thought my dad had peaked in terms of leg embarrassment. Body shame was something I never thought I would associate with him. It became obvious that he felt that this was a stigma. Given his own experience, Johnny is keen to eradicate this stigma by promoting healthy conversation as well as healthy living and self-care. Of equal importance, he said the need to reassure people with lower limb conditions that they are not a burden and that seeking medical care is a crucial step in managing the condition. Johnny also said, please don't take the attitude that you can just walk it off or try to forget about it. Visit your doctor, ask for help. Addressing issues early will really help in giving you tips on how you can work preventative measures into your daily routine. It's like running a car. If you run it into the ground, it can often be too late to fix it. We are extremely proud to be able to work with Johnny and squeeze in to raise awareness of lower limb conditions and to better equip people to self-care. If you have a lower limb condition, join Club Squeeze In today by visiting www.squeezein.life. Here you will have access to our personalised email newsletter that will support you in managing your lower limb condition, as well as hints and tips from our Squeeze In ambassador, Johnny Vegas. You will also have access to a healthy living booklet. The booklet is an informative and easy to use guide aimed at helping people who are managing leg conditions to squeeze in healthier living. The Healthy Living booklet explores ways in which people, their families and carers can manage their condition more effectively. It covers skincare, compression, healthy eating including a meal plan, tips for squeezing in movement and exercise and the value of maintaining social contact, be it in virtual or in person. 
If you have any further questions on Squeeze In, please get in contact with our customer solutions team today. On screen, you will see a QR code. Scan this to join Club Squeeze In today. I think the campaign is absolutely brilliant, Liam. Um, it's so informative and I think it'll be a, a fantastic resource for people. How, how are you getting those messages out there with this campaign? I mean, obviously today is, is a perfect example, but beyond this, what else are you expecting to do? I think we've in the next coming weeks, well, hopefully the next few weeks, we're going to have um, two videos where Johnny has done one that's a bit of a comedy sketch, doing typical Johnny things where he's actually waiting to go on stage at a panel. So like a TV show panel and he's in the back room, the dressing room and he's doing his skincare routine. He's eating healthily. He's wearing his compression and he's doing his exercises before he goes on. Um, and it's a bit of a comedy sketch within that. And that'll be coming in the next few weeks. And he's also going to be doing a quite an emotional video with his dad as well, like talking about his dad and what his dad went through. But also he's starting to notice some of the same kind of leg conditions that his dad previously did. So it's a bit of a look into kind of what Johnny's doing currently as well to kind of prevent those conditions worsening. And um, so once those videos come, we'll be pushing them everywhere we can to show them. Uh, a lot of our field representatives at the moment are, to are talking to a lot of clinicians about squeezing, trying to encourage people to sign up and get their patients to sign up as well so that they can receive that content and that education from us as a company. But we're <laughs> flying the flag for squeezing as much as possible. Yes, yeah. <laughs> I mean, a lot of, of what, what the... Uh... The campaign talks about sort of is it reflects sort of a lot of what we've covered this week in the legs matter campaign you know as you know yeah. our campaign we're trying to reach the public and we do that via our website and and you know we we have a lot of hits on there we have a a lot of people who access the website for information i think we've reached a point haven't we of lower limb care that that actually it's so much more on the on the the radar now mm -hmm. people are wanting that information um but, you know, are there any sort of areas where you think that it's, people are going to be difficult to reach, do you think? I think a lot of these tools and how we're pushing this out is quite digital. And I think from an elder population, we need to kind of get that in front of them as much as possible, as early as on, on as possible as well, to prevent those messages, measures. So I think whatever we can really do to try and promote that more face to face and give them physical documents or physical leaflets that they can then read through at their leisure, they can kind of absorb that away from the internet as well I think that will be really important as we move forward to try and get that in front of people I think with this campaign we're trying to aim those people at more probably more preventative or a bit more digital savvy and um, but I think that's going to be a really important part of the next phase to try and get it in front of as many people physically so they can really self-care at home and, and away from kind of that need for healthcare professional support so closely so they can probably take, take that self-care and look at things like movement skin care healthy eating things like that away from that um, and can be supported by healthcare professionals from a distance as well. Yeah, I, I agree. I mean, we're, we're in such a, a difficult time, aren't we, in terms of getting face to face or in front of people to promote these these messages. Yeah. And I think, you know, the, the, the joy of this week is we've been able to provide such an, a fantastic educational event digitally through our live yeah. lounges, etc. But um, I suppose, you know, there's, there's, there's an assumption, isn't there, that um, older people aren't sort of savvy in terms of, you know, iPhones and, and the like. I think about my 88 year old mother who's, you know, thinks she knows a lot more than her, about her iPad than I will ever do. Um, but but I suppose, you know, our, our what we try to do is is through Legs Matter is there's always grandchildren or children of older yeah. people who will be digitally savvy and it's really getting them to pass those messages on isn't it really yeah I'd love to do kind of like a little app of some sort to really support them as well I think that would be really brilliant if you could like log how real common things like just drinking water and logging how much water you have a day those kind of simple things that could be so easy to kind of think about what you do in each day maybe making a log of everything you do in each day and having that record because I think as soon as you kind of write it down or have it somewhere you kind of actually really thinking about what you're doing each day to kind of work those preventative measures into your routine as well yeah 
It's really important, isn't it? I think one of the key messages from this week, from what I've picked up, is the importance. I mean, there's been huge amounts around compression, and I'm absolutely delighted mm -hmm. because, you know, the messages have been very clear that we have to have therapeutic comp levels of compression to manage these underlying problems. You know, people cannot be, inverted commas, fobbed off with sort of compression whether that be bandages or hosiery that's not uh, therapeutically right for them um, and I think I think you know your campaign and our campaign is to try and empower people to recognize that they need more than maybe what they've got but um, but I but, but I think it's great that also the message has been around so I'm just trying to push my cat off the table here um, <laughs> is uh, <laughs> Legs matter for cats as well. Um, but but I, think, I think it is that sort of holistic approach, isn't it? You're right. I think, you know, the importance of exercise, that's been quite yeah. apparent this week, hasn't it? Have you picked yeah. up that the, the messages around exercise, that must be in your campaign as well? Yeah, we, we did a session on Monday with Paul Grayson, who we're going to work with in the future a bit further, the rugby player. And I think some of the things that anyone can do, I think I mentioned this on Monday, is when you're sat on your, de at your desk, for example, you kind of forget how long you might be sat here for hours and hours on end without actually been standing or getting up because you're so engrossed with your work or what you're doing. I think just doing some simple leg exercises that I think anyone could really walk, work into their like, daily routine could work, work really well for them. And it's, it's, it's small things, but I think once you start to add more and more of that, maybe just doing sort of ankle flexions, whatever you can do really, and really work up to that next step, I think is, is a really good way to go. I think exercise, it, it, um, it's one of those things, isn't it? I, I've always believed that when I've worked with patients, often it's not until people present with a problem that maybe it motivates them to do something about it, whether mm. that be weight loss or exercise or things like that. You know, I've got a Fitbit and it vibrates every now and again to tell me <laughs> to get off my bottom and move. And I just ignore it. Um, so, so, you know, it, it's, it's about, you know, how do, how do we motivate people? You know, we don't want people to get to the point of having a problem, you know, because we want prevention, don't we? Yeah. You know, these messages about exercise, um, but, but it's, it's, yeah, people have to want to do it. Um, it's, you know, it's, 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 yes, yeah, like giving up smoking or, or weight loss it has to be so important to that yeah. person. So it's about us selling it as such a positive thing and and all these problems it can prevent if and we're not expecting people to run a marathon but it's, <laughs> it's just the just the importance of exercise it's, it's a difficult one isn't it sometimes yeah. to, to 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 get that across yeah I think I think it's one of those things as well that you might get so distracted that you almost forget every day as well that you need to do this or you need to do that and I think it's just maybe writing a little plan down so you've got it all in front of you to really think about it. I know that Legs Matter have got some great resources around like a movement plan, exercise plan, things like that, that you can write down something simple to do each day would be really useful. And I think like, obviously we spoke about movement, the things like skincare as we go into winter as well and skin becoming more irritated because of the cold weather, just simple things like that to really help with your lower limbs. I think for the best of will in the world sometimes I forget to put my moisturizer on in the morning for my socks but you know it's, it is one of those things just to try and remember each day to really help prevent those measures getting worse. Yeah I, I agree so what have been the highlights I'm, I'm aware this is our last day of the of our <laughs> legs matter awareness week and I've just been absolutely in awe of it all it's it's just yeah. been all so fantastic um so so to you what 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 have been the highlights for you from the from the events this week do you think I think from my side I think it's the, the exercise it, it seems that every day we've had bits of exercise um so things like pilates med, medicate med, medication meditation things like that that is really interesting and it's a quite a nice start to your day doing something quite simple like that as well I think all the conversation about prevention is really positive and it's definitely something we need to shout loud about the earlier we can do this, the better. Um, and then I think for me, it's the main focus on self-care as well. I think Eleonora's company is really passionate about driving self-care. I think we have been for a very long time, but I think during COVID, it's been even more so that the importance of self-care right now is really important to really support patients, have conversations with them around 
self-caring at home and looking after themselves. What about you, Sarah? What would you say? Yes, there's been a massive focus on compression, hasn't there? And I think um, I think what's what's brought it home is that there is there is there is an option out there for everybody. We know mm. through experience that one size doesn't fit all. And we can't expect just because maybe we have set things on formulary that patients have to fit into those options. Um, and we know if hosiery isn't applied properly or it's not prescribed properly, people won't wear it. And then they end up, you know, with recurrence of problems, which is not good for the NHS and not good for patients. I think there has to be flexibility. So my message really out is to out there to the providers of services is we have to be more flexible and creative about you know finding the right garment for that person's needs because if they if we can do that there's a better chance of them self-caring definitely um i agree about the exercise and i was really interested in the session that leanne atkin did with the cons vascular consultants uh, particularly the one around arterial disease um you know and the benefits of exercise on on managing arterial symptoms sometimes there's a fear that maybe if they get cramp in their legs that's doing them harm you know but but the exercise will help manage those conditions so so it's obviously very good generally for our health for our veins but also for our arteries as well um, I, I do like the fact that we've also included things like our Pilates and our um, relaxation and meditation. I think sometimes we forget about the mental health side of things. Yeah. Um, life is so busy and it's so stressful. It's a very stressful time at the moment with COVID. So trying to manage a lower limb or foot problem on top of, you know, being shielding or... Yeah or whatever must be terrible for people mm -hmm. and also our colleagues our clinical colleagues who yeah. have been you know under a lot of pressure so we have to find time for ourselves as well um, in terms of good sleep uh, relaxation and and exercise as well so I think it's really good that we've included that this week as well yeah yeah definitely. I agree with that I think that's been a massive part of it really important yeah. part of it yeah so, you know, I, I've just posted on Twitter earlier about, you know, what, what, you know, what one thing um, are you going to do differently uh, as a result of, of this week, whether you be a healthcare professional or member of the public uh, or, you know, so uh, what, what would that one thing be for you then, Leanne? I think from my side, um, wearing my compression socks every day, I know that's, I know that's pretty simple one but for me sit, sitting at this desk as I am now this is me five days a week and just sitting here with compression socks on to prevent anything getting worse is something so simple that a lot of people either don't do or don't even know about like a lot of my friends if I talk to them who have babies at the moment don't know that they can get like things like compression socks on prescription to stop them getting things like varicose veins and I just think that it's such an easy thing to do whack those compression socks on every day um to kind of ensure and prevent things getting worse so that's that's it from my side what about you Sarah yeah um the compression thing Leanne absolutely I must have multiple pairs in my drawers um <laughs> and and yeah I mean I I've been sitting around a lot this week because of you know legs matter week and I've been doing a lot of zoom and I haven't had my hosiery on. So I really, really feel absolutely shameful here. And, and yes, I should have done that. So I need to do that. Yes. I mean, I, I, I try to use the excuse that I've just not long moved to Cumbria, so I should be walking more anyway, but I still need to wear my hosiery. And, and I and I think um, it's about sort of um, who else you can influence with that information yeah. or who you can pass that on. Uh, we had... Um, uh, I think it was a question or something that came through the chat, I can't remember now, but there was a, a comment that somebody after one of the sessions had actually had a conversation with their hairdresser mm -hmm. about the importance of looking after their legs and wearing hosiery. So, so, you know, I would urge anybody watching this session that as we move into the weekend, it's right, who are you going to talk to this weekend about uh, looking after your legs? So um, I want to sort of just pass that message on um, as really as a result of this week. I'm sure there is somebody 
um, that my mum, who lives in Greece, and she um, she watched my session. She's been forwarding the sessions on to her friends oh. and has told me that they have promised that they're going to be looking after their legs a bit better. So I think we all can influence that, can't we? I'm just go. having a check just to make sure that in case we have any questions, there's there's no other questions that have been put to us at the moment. But I think really, I just wanted this opportunity just to sort of pull things to a conclusion, really, because this yeah. is the, the last live lounge, lounge session. Um, yeah. is, do you want to add anything, Leanne? I think from my side, it's a massive thank you to all the coalition members, everyone that's been a part of Legs Matter this week. It has been a fantastic week, especially in the midst of everything. So a big thank you from my side. Yeah, and I, and I would like to say thank you as well um, for everybody that's attended these events and um, the questions you've asked, uh, the comments you've made on social media. And really, uh, we, we want these messages to continue to go forward. You know, this is not the end just because we came to the end of the week. Uh, we have a lot of work to do and we rely upon you folks out there to uh to to take those messages forward as well so i've really enjoyed this session thank you so much and um it's goodbye from us then bye bye thank you bye <laughs>